What's up, Auto Nation? It's your boy Joaquin Alexander, and I got the Mrs. Incredibles, Jesse Adams, in studio today. Man, I'm seeing these tattoos, man, and, and I just kind of like want to peel your skin and put it up on my wall. I'm, I'm kidding. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Some people do that. There's a thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like taxidermy for people. I don't know. I, I, man, it's some weird <laughs> stuff in the internet, man. I, I stumbled upon the dark net, and well. You it's know. a rabbit hole. Uh, how are you feeling this morning? I'm good. I'm doing really well. Um, I, I worked all weekend and I got good rest and woke mm -hmm. up and you know, got my kids up for school and I'm happy. How with many that. of your children do you have? I have two boys. Um, work, work. My oldest is 11. My baby is about to turn 10 and I'm a little sad about it. <laughs> Man, at least you got them out the way in a second. Yeah, yeah. I'm done having kids. No, no more babies for you? No more babies for me. I love my kids. They're enough for me. So you're having to shoot up the club and mm. don't have to worry about none? No, no, no. That's all done and over with. The last time that I spoke to you, we uh, were talking about health care mm -hmm. in America. And you had told a little story, a backstory of your health. Mm -hmm. How is it from the last time that I saw you? You know, I'm, I'm doing a lot better and I think as far as my health goes it gets frustrating because improvements are so gradual that I don't I don't realize it unless I look back over a longer period of time but I look back at where I was a year ago and a year ago I couldn't get out of bed every day and now I'm up I'm moving around I do have to take my time on things that I do have to rest when need be and listen to my body but um, I, I'm I'm getting there. I'm considerably better. I'm probably never going to be 100%, but I'm happy with where I'm at right now. A year ago, when you were saying that you were not able to get out of bed, what what was going on? Um, I, I had an undiagnosed heart issue, actually a couple of them, um, and I was leaking spinal fluid, and oh. it took several years to figure out what was going on with that and you know an active spinal fluid leak is really debilitating um, when you stand up you get this horrific migraine and it just never never goes away um, and it's hard to diagnose but, you know, a, a lot of people don't necessarily know that that can happen spontaneously they, right. they you know that usually happens when you have a baby and you get an epidural but i or had an epidural it just happened so um, at that point getting out of bed was difficult there were days I did not get out of bed there were days I couldn't eat and you know I, I crawled into my neurologist's office and, and basically begged I'm like we have to figure out what this is and what's going on and she and she asked me one question and that was kind of the pivotal moment she's like do your headaches get better when you stand up I'm like no Absolutely not. They get worse. I'll pass out. I have passed out in the shower because of these headaches. Um, so getting out of bed was a, like a 30, 40, 5 minute process. I had yeah. to medicate myself just to get right. up. And even getting up, I can I could go for maybe an hour and a half, and then I have to lay down. There was this constant urge to lay down and be horizontal. Um, and that that's that's not a thing right now. No. So that's what funny. was it that? How mm -hmm. how did you? doctor discovered uh, the, the leaking spinal fluid? Actually, she had gone to a seminar right. and they had just recently redefined the condition as uh, spontaneous intracranial hypotension. Okay. And she thought of me at the seminar. So I conveniently called her and went, look, I can't live like this anymore. Right. And when I got there, you know, they, they ask you questions that don't lead into what they're suspecting. They, they try to make sure you're not reading Google and going step by step, this is my symptom, this is my symptom, which is why they asked it backwards if my headaches uh, get better when I stand up. And it's, oh no, 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 no. Yours is reverse. Much worse, oh. much worse. And that was kind of the clue where she's like, look, you know, there's one MRI machine in the state of Texas that can find the room, and there is a very long wait for it. Um, but what we can do is a blind high volume blood patch, which is not a pleasant procedure. But if it helps, we have a diagnosis. So that's what we did. And with like as they were wheeling me out of the room after they did it, for the first time, I wasn't getting double vision. 
and, and for the first time in months, for the first time in months, laying there wasn't an absolute miserable experience. It's just like at least a 75% improvement right okay. then and there. So we had our diagnosis. Mm-hmm.